Welcome back, everyone, to our L.A. Rams Madden 22 franchise series. Last time out, we had defeated the Tennessee Titans in a very, very close game. Probably the best, as far as entertainment value, the best game that we've played this season. If you missed it, make sure you go ahead and go to the previous two episodes so you can definitely check out that game. It was very close, neck and neck, a lot of high scoring, a lot of big plays. And it was, it was a total blast. So now we get to play the 4-4 and San Francisco 49ers. And let's go ahead and hop right in. Coming up, the Rams and 49ers are set to square off. San Francisco swept L.A. for the second straight season and looks for their ninth win in their last 12 meetings. It's NFC West football next on Monday night. We are about 40 miles or so south of Candlestick Point at a place that first opened back in 2014. As you get a look at Levi Stadium here in Santa Clara, California. A few short moments ago, these two teams made their way out of the Levi Stadium tunnels, and the noise level in this place was deafening. They're set for football as the 49ers get ready to do battle with the Los Angeles Rams. Hi again, everyone. Brandon Gordon alongside Charles Davis. And Charles, you take a look at these 49ers as they interplay here. They were winners last time out, so they'll be looking, Charles, to make it two in a row. And what I enjoyed when I watched their game tape and their victory last week is they put it together in every phase. Good offense, good defense, and some key plays on special teams. Let's see if they can get that second win in a row. Meanwhile, for the visiting Rams, they've been the talk of the NFL so far. Nine wins in their first nine games. And some people subscribe to the theory that a loss might not be the worst thing for them. They've had it easy all year long. How would they do handling adversity? All right, here we go, boys. Get to take on those San Francisco 49ers, our hated rivals. If there's any other Rams fans watching in the comments section, which team do you dislike the most? For me, it's definitely the San Francisco 49ers and then the Seahawks. The Cardinals, I don't really have any ill feelings towards. We're usually pretty good against the Cardinals. It's the 49ers that always crush us. Usually we handle Seattle pretty well. The 49ers are by far my most hated team. Uh, jet sweep. Garoppolo taps it forward. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards picking up the first. That is definitely a... That is definitely a play that Kyle Shanahan would come out against us with. the most problems for a defense because there's a breakdown in communication there. When that receiver goes behind the line of scrimmage and it looks like he's yeah. in motion. Yeah. Well done, Reader. Or he has to be passed off to another defender. Somehow they didn't get that communicated well and it turned into a nice play. We know George Kittle is dangerous. We know Raheem Mostert is dangerous. But also Debo Samuel is very good. Swung out to Moster. Nice tackle. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. This defense. I think we're going to heat up Jimmy here a little bit. The win over Tennessee a week ago. There's a little bit of lightning talking with the defense coordinator about their performance last week because the feeling was that it was a good, solid performance. Ooh. They needed to do to get the job done and get the win. And we blitzed them, and it rushed his throw. Now throwing on third down. Perfect execution on that blitz. He punted five times in the win last week as this one's away. 
And he'll be just shy of the 20 at the 19 as he goes out of bounds. Rams taking the field, ready for their first offensive series and let out by their new starter for 2021 in his now 13th season in the National Football Still have a few too many interceptions than I'd like. Our goal today is going to be to throw no interceptions. I definitely do not want to throw an interception to Fred Warner. Yeah, you want the ratio really it seems like every single time I play the 49ers, I throw an interception of Fred Warner. That's going to be our number one goal, to not throw an interception to Fred Warner. He is just so good. They'll run. This is Daryl Henderson. And he'll be taken down at the 20 after a gain of just one. The numbers a week ago for Henderson. There isn't a coach alive who wouldn't like those numbers. Well over 100 yards and a touchdown, too. Partner, I think all the coaches are in that great coaching box in the sky would take those numbers. <laughs> okay, they're in zone. Either way, they would take that out of production. On second and nine. Stafford, he'll find Henderson there. It's complete. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. They get seven there on the screen. It'll set up a third down. Defensively here, you're facing a top five team in terms of points scored in the NFL. So when they're that high power, you got to find them. They're in man. To hold them under 20, because to me, that's the magic number. 20 points scored, give yourself a, you give yourself your best chance to win. So if they're up around 24, 28, 30, they could be in some trouble. I think so, because then you turn it into a shootout, and that means your offense has to keep pace. Okay, I think they're in man again. If Woods is on a safety, we're going to hit him. Play action, Stafford. Oh, Woods! Woods! Just a, few yards shy of the just a little juke inside. Boy, he ran free there after the catch. Got us that extra yardage. I love it. When they needed a play this year, he's certainly been the guy to deliver. And as this season is going on, he's been off. Woods is having a career year for us. Spectacular. Look at the little juke inside. Slipped him. Didn't even break stride either. Okay, let's keep. Pounding. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts. I don't know where uh, Nick Bosa is. Out of the gun, they give to Henderson. If Nick Bosa is out for this game, it's going to be a huge, a huge hit to their to their defense. Makes sense though, doesn't it? Have we ever run into a running back that had a great game the week before that didn't think? I think they're in man. Actually, continue. Just make sure you feed me the football, and that's what they're all about. Continuity, no. rhythm, number of carries. Just keep giving it to him. That was that was zone. They fooled me there. I'm glad Fred Warner didn't pick it off. That is something he would definitely pick off. It'll try and run for the first. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. They're able to convert on third Let's down, go. and that Let's sets go. up a Let's first go. and goal. A stop there on third. They could have held him to three on this opening drive. Now they have to bow their necks on first and goal. And if I'm looking at this from the offense's point of view, that's a big time pickup right there. And I'd go hmm. right with another momentum play. I'd go quickly and attack him because right now, he's wide open. Too easy. Daryl Henderson with a lucky number 13 touchdowns now on the year. And the Rams are going to take a first quarter lead. Well, first quarter, maybe too early to talk about statement drives, Charles, but that sure seemed like a statement drive right there. Well, if we're going to talk about statement drives, I think what they're saying is we're going to establish the run. They gave it to him early and often on this drive, and he wound up taking it into the end zone. Extra point by Gay is up and good. And it's now a 7 nothing game. Following the touchdown, here's Gay to kick it away. Pulls it in at the 13. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. 
back out there comes the 49ers offense ready for their second drive four and four there all right come on Jimmy G what do you got would you say that this team has overperformed underperformed are they kind of right where you thought that they would be do you mind if I say yes yes and yes <laughs> because ultimately to me four and four is about where they should be because we've seen weeks where they've been really really good they've looked terrific other weeks where we wondered just how good is this team they want to be consistent in their play not consistently inconsistent which is what they've been thus far second down here's most nice tackle nice tackle Jones well done two yards good enough for first I know what you're thinking out there I know a lot of you are thinking take a shot down give us a great spot for it I'd say maybe later in the game, definitely in the second half. But right now, I think they were just trying to get some. They're going power. Get a first down, pick it up, and keep moving. On first and ten, it's Moster, and he'll maneuver his way forward for about four seconds. This is about exactly how the 49ers play offense. For the Rams, it, it's amazing how realistic they get these run-pass tendencies and the plays and the, the playbooks and the formations. It always comes back to blocking and tackling. That's the essence of football. But I think it's hard for people to understand just how difficult it is. The 49ers want to go right at you. Very few missed tackles on tape. They want Jimmy Garoppolo to throw as little as possible. So from Rams territory now, it's first and ten at the 46. Garoppolo going to give to Mostert. There he goes. They find some open field here. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. 50 yards rushing for him now as he has gotten the night off. I really, Raheem Mostert is a hell of a running back. It's just really, it really stinks that, I mean, of course, I'm a Rams fan, so it, I don't, it doesn't bother me, but like, just as a guy who likes to watch football, the fact that Raheem Mostert keeps getting hurt really is unfortunate because I love watching him run. He's the perfect outside zone speed back. He's just perfect for it. Defense for the Rams, they were terrific in the win over Tennessee a week ago. But we certainly had a nice conversation with the defensive coordinator, didn't we? And what we heard, I like what we did, but we definitely need more pressure on the quarterback this week. They get it to Funchess on the jet sweep, and this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage back at the 22. A yard in the wrong direction makes third down tougher. Third down and nine. Nice, nice play, nice tackle. Okay, third and long. After one, seven, nothing. EA Sports. Ten run plays, only one passing play, and that one pass was incomplete. Working from the gun, Garoppolo. Tackle, tackle. Wee! They got him. Are they going to go for it? And that means fourth down. It's a gain of nine yards. I feel like the San Francisco 49ers would go for this in a real game situation. But that completion put them in really great range. What do we have now? Fourth and inches? Yeah, it's not more than a half a foot. You know what I would do here? You would always go for it. <laughs> I'm one of those. Yeah, guys. they're going. The offense here not budging. They're going to fight for it on fourth and inches. They'll go for it. It's Garoppolo. Ah, Debo. Debo dropped it. No. He couldn't. He couldn't. He caught it, but he couldn't secure it. Getting their first trip into the red zone, but unable to get it across. And if I'm the head coach... Sure, you feel some disappointment, maybe a little bit of deflation there because you didn't get it in. But I'm going straight to rah rah mode. All right, guys, we didn't get it this time. It's only the second quarter. We'll be back. Let's get it later on. I want to keep this team up. I don't want them to feel like they've let everyone down. Positive. Got to be positive in this situation. It's too early to think that you don't have a chance to win this game. That one good for 20 on the catch and run. So many times in my career, I've heard coaches. What are you going to do, Jimmy? Completions are one thing. But as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, 
We can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. Meanwhile, Stafford's throw pulled in by Jefferson. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. They'll contain him to just four. Ooh, they're in press. I'm going to hit cup. A shotgun snap for Stafford. I probably should have let it a little bit more over the shoulder. That's my fault. So after the second down in completion, they'll come up now against a third and six. Throwing again at Stafford. I'm running. And he's going to have a first down as he's brought down at the 44-yard line. Give him seven on the tuck and run, and it'll get him a new set of downs. But nowhere to throw it, decided to scramble, and a nice job, CD. Got the yardage that he needed. Yeah, and his teammates are certainly going to appreciate that effort, even if his coaches don't, because they would have wanted him to slide and protect himself. But he chose team gain over personal protection. Going to run the sweep here. This is Cup. Powers through. And he'll get this up past the 45 to the 47. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Let's just make this one succinct. Nice job there. All the guys on defense. Hey, they're in zone. Diagnosing the jet sweep and putting it down. To throw on second and six. Stafford. And he slings one that's incomplete. The Rams on third down. A perfect three for three as they look to keep that streak going. This will be third and six. Got an open man finding Jefferson. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. The Rams, they are on the move. They've got another first All right, down. we've been passing a little bit too much. Let's go back to the ground game. Scheming his guy open. Just a little underneath route. Just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. Now a handoff, Henderson. Ooh. Inside the 20 before he's brought down. Way to power through. Rushing for him now on just six carries to this point. We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles? Kind of shaking off people, spinning, moving. fighting forward. Love it. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. On the handoff, Henderson, and he stopped immediately there. No gain on the play there, second down. This defense tough to run against, and those linebackers, they'll go side to side up the field, and there they get him for no gain. If you can't get linemen upfield to the I think they're in man, but I'm actually not sure. Just running to the football, no. putting ball carriers on the ground. Not many yards after contact when they wrap up like that. That should have been picked. Should have been Definitely should have been picked. Well, this drive, they're a perfect two of two on third down conversions, but they need a full ten yards here. Stafford flushed out right. And he's gonna have to eat this one. That was just that was just great coverage. So this defense, they gave up Nobody was open. I guess Jefferson was open for a, for a second. And Gay knocks this one through. And the lead moves to 10 zip. So he's been automatic to this point of the season, and he connects on the field goal there. And what a luxury it is to have a kicker you can depend upon, partner, because he hasn't missed all year long. Converts on that one as well. 
and kudos to you. You didn't jinx him. After the made field goal, Gay back out there to kick it off. From the six. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. Let's go! Let's go. Raheem Mostert and the Niner offense getting the football back. He's doing his thing. He's got some good yardage, but his team right now in the second quarter, zero points. Just not a complete formula. Half of it's there, being able to run the ball and set the tone. wonder if they may have to go to some play action, throw off the run game, and try and get the ball in the end. That's the thing with the 49ers is once you get ahead of them, it's difficult for them to come back, but if they establish a lead, they'll start on the ground with Mostert, and he is met in if they establish a lead, it's almost impossible to beat them because they'll just ground the ball all second half and just eat up uh, eat up minutes and put away points. That was a brilliant play by Ramsey there. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. Throwing now is Garoppolo. Look at Ramsey get after it. Two lost yardage plays in a row. We've hit the two-minute mark of the first half. Ten nothing. Our score. Let's heat up Jimmy again. Coming up just a few minutes from now, we'll send you to Jonathan Coachman and our crew in Orlando. Coach will have a look back at some of the stats and scores from yesterday's. Oh action. shit! And some room to maneuver, and he's going to be taken down here. With I can't believe they ran it. On the field. Dude, they ran it on third and twelve, and they, that was a give up run. I was in zone expecting a pass. Mike McGlinchey, the Notre Dame man, guilty on that one. And this third down looking very tough after the That's a backbreaker right there for them. A handoff running left is Mostert. And he'll lose yardage here. Back to the 15. The Rams going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts. So as they take it over, we step aside. Here comes the 49ers punter now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. What a crappy punt. Now a fair catch is called for and taken a few yards across You're right. midfield. You ready? Right. A look at the running back, the man out of the backfield as he gears up to go again. He's been effective so far over the 40-yard mark here in the second quarter. Don't forget about those guys up front, though. They've been effective, too. The leverage game has been in their favor. They've been the ones who've been able to bend their knees, drop their hips, and get a little bit lower than the guys <laughs> on the other side of the football. And they've moved them out of the Jefferson. way. Jefferson. Sometimes that's Jefferson. Jefferson. Not an easy thing for them to do. And they're going to be set up down around the 15-yard line. A big pickup of 38. That drag. Hig that drag by Higby. Pulled the linebacker and Van was right behind it. Open field, but if there were, he silenced those thoughts there. And that's the kind of play where you have to kind of catch your breath afterwards to so just give me a second here because when he shifted into high gear, he was an absolute blur out there. No substitute for speed. We talk about that all the time. The evidence was right there. So after the big play, look at this, all the way down at the 15 now on first and 10. A give. This is Michelle. And a broken tackle could not free him. Taken down right at the 10-yard line. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Offensive linemen love creating space for their guys carrying the ball. But when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage, they almost feel like he's one of them, and they really embrace him. And he'll get, get in there, Sony. The Let's go. Rams. Sony Michelle. With touchdown number seven on the year. You can show the 49ers how to ground pound the ball a little bit. That score that they just gave up there, that's a tough one for their defense to swallow because they've had a tough time through the first two quarters. They really were determined to get a stop there. Unable to do so, that makes their comeback hopes that much more difficult. Here's Gay now to add the extra point. He's got it, and it's 17-0. 
The drive there only spanning three plays. And it was Sony Michelle's touchdown scamper that polished the drive off. We're cooking. I don't see any reason for us to even throw the ball in the second half. We could just run the whole thing out if we wanted to. Taking it about the one. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. Let's go, boys. Let's go. Well, the Niners going back on offense now late in this first half. And with a three-score deficit staring him in the face, they might have to press the issue here and try to get points out of this drive. Garoppolo now, first down throw. Got a man, that's IU. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 35 seconds to go in quarter number two. On second and inches, Garoppolo. Ooh. Catch of the game for George Kittle. That's why you're losing. That is exactly why you're losing. George Kittle's first catch of the game comes with 28 seconds left in the second quarter. As they stop it with 28 seconds to go in the first half of play. Getting this out to the flat. Shit. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. That good for 21 yards on the catch and run. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against him a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. He'll swing this out to Mostert. And now the Niners going to signal for their third and final timeout. As it'll come with if they get tackled in bounds, in the they're half. done. Throwing again on second down. Garoppolo. Pass incomplete, but the flag in the Illegal touching. Field, this might be a roughing call. The hit comes okay. late. We saw it. There's your flag. And we know that there's a guideline, right? Ball's gone. You get one step. If y'all run the ball, you're dumb. Quarterback, you can hit him as long as it's still done legally. But anything outside of that looks like an extra step was involved. Oh, they were so close to getting sacked and getting no points. Felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield equally good. And Gold is able to put it through, and that will do it for this first half. So we've come to halftime. It's the visiting Rams taking the lead to the break. As we'll send you eastward to Orlando. Standing by with that EA Sports halftime report now is Jonathan Coachman. Take it away, Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome in, everyone. To you want the third quarter already? No problem. Let's do it. Let's definitely run inside. Both these teams, no doubt, and we'll defend the medium pass. And for the call of the second half, we get it back out to Brandon Gunn and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. And the half will begin with a touchback. On, so here are the Rams to take over. They are working on that very impressive nine-game win streak, looking to get it to ten as they've got the lead here, first and ten. Jet sweep to start the drive. And not much to speak of. Call it a one yard gain up to the 26. Defensively, they had that one pretty well figured out. Yeah, one of the things about this play, it can be even more effective when you run a lot of motion and there's plenty of times you don't hand it off. On second down. Oh, Fred. You're good, but you're not that good. Maybe the 34. 